My name is Sean Overton, and I'm turning this into a desert forest. Sustaining life out here is really difficult, but I've been trying to figure out that whole process on my own. All I needed was an army ranger to come out here and show me how it's done. For six guys that have never put up a drash tent before, this actually went pretty smooth. This should be the top if they loaded it properly. So if there's one there, I know there's one right there. We're gonna lift up and then we're gonna place this post underneath there. Okay. And that's what's gonna hold the weight. Yes. There's actually uh, like stake holes right there. Like that. Yeah, that's a, that should be a stake that's hole. A stake hole. My neighbors have they've clocked 80 mile an hour winds out here. Well, I know, but if it's enough to pull this up, no, this I'm is, not going to be out here. This is meant to hold a lot. More. Because keep in mind, look how this is shaped. Right. It's not. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not a it, sail. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. This is what you oh, use to set the tent up. I see, yeah. Oh, that's a joke. Uh, you were busy using your amazing drone technology yeah. while we were working, Scott. It is so much cooler in this tent. No, I'm excited, man. Like, maybe the kids could come out here, and this is, like, this will handle the heat. You can already yeah. tell. This might not be a terrible Airbnb idea. I thought somebody would pay to come out Yurts. Here. Yeah, like, people it's are paying for yurts yeah. in Hudson County. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is better than a yurt. It's, it's like, it's actually comfortable in here. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So how did... You two get hooked up. Together. He volunteered just like you. Okay. I, I okay. Follow, I've been following this channel for like a long time. I saw something that said, you know, the most desolate place in Texas. And I looked and I was like, Holy well, that's shit. not that desolate. Uh, a friend of mine and I have some property right over there. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to talking and communicating back and forth. And then I started texting him and then volunteered to come out here and then yeah. made a good friend. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's the best thing about it is just meeting people. Yeah. Like everybody from all walks of life yeah. coming out here. It's been fun. Yeah. This is only the second time. I got a little three pound sledge. Let me go grab that too. Doesn't have to be super tight because well, we're not in a hurricane. The big floor is over here. All right. Uh, so let's put uh, green side up. Let you want to walk it in. I'm really humbled to have the opportunity to partner with American Legends Outdoors and Daniel in particular. He's just been an amazing individual. I got to meet his son and he's been out here twice now. Uh, that drash tent is up here temporarily, uh, which helps him a little bit so it gets storage out of his garage, but it's put so much use here. And when veterans and first responders come out here, they can have their own private event and just knowing that this land gets an immediate use, even though it's not the desert forest, knowing that I can give a little something back to the, the men and women that serve us, I'm happy to do it. Ready, buddy? I mean, that's clearly a path down to the river. You see footprints? Look, there's clothing right here. And last I checked, uh, this is not something that uh, a cow would wear. <laughs> no, there's a footbridge down here, I think. Possibly a chicken coop or something. Where at? <laughs> She's seen better days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, watch out, those have got thorns. I was just thinking, you know what? I haven't chopped down enough mesquite today. I'm sweating so much, so we didn't actually find the river. But before we do something stupid and get in trouble and don't have water, we're gonna turn back. This is a uh, flexibility awareness path. Yeah, I'm failing. <laughs> I mean, I made it under there, but it was not comfortable. This is not comfortable for me either, and I'm the short one here. Not only do I get the short end of the stick, I am the short end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was pretty good. Hey, I'm just going to get some cold water out of the refrigerator here. That was good. I think I finally figured out how to show everybody on video how hot it is. This is my shirt. 
that I've worn for the last two days while I was building the sandbag house. And you see all that white stuff on it and the collar back here, that's all sweat and salt. So I've sweat this much. My shirt is completely stained. That's not saying that's salt. What's funny is a lot of the feedback I've gotten on the channel has all been, you know, buy this equipment and buy that equipment. Mm -hmm. But just you having the military background, most people are gonna think guns and tactics. Yeah. But just the like the knowledge of military logistics and the different tents especially coming out here you have to have everything last year when i didn't have a channel and i didn't have anybody entertained as i just skipped the summer i was out here for two days in july and it was nuclear hot yeah in the heat of the day all you can do is go hide in a tent or find some sort of shade uh, you can't work through the middle of the day not without some sort of air conditioning and then you're not working out here right <laughs> but uh, you can't do anything agricultural in the air conditioning a lot of people don't realize how harsh it really is out here you're miles from anything you you have to know your logistics because you can't exactly just go to the store and get a water <laughs> you're in uh, trouble if you need to get water you're you're in trouble i mean there's beacons around here for help for a reason I don't even know how long it would take the Border Patrol to get to them if they somebody hit one of them. That takes half a day. Yeah. Like they're, I mean, they're going to come. Eventually. Eventually, but like they're not flying a helicopter to come get you. No, and, and I mean, that's, it can be life or death out here. I mean, I know you, you know that firsthand. I mean, I've, I've heard it from, you know, ranchers a little farther west. You know, it, it happens. It's tough. Daniel's been absolutely incredible, and I'm excited to partner with his organization, American Legends Outdoors, to support veterans and first responders, especially those suffering from PTSD, so that they can have a place to come out here and replace some of that lost camaraderie that goes away when you leave the military. If you're a veteran or first responder in the greater El Paso area and you'd like to get connected with Daniel and American Legends Outdoors, go to the website on the screen, AmericanLegendsOutdoors.org. And one unnecessary but nice little perk is Daniel hooked me up with this shirt, dry fit. Couldn't be more appropriate for out here. Having a military quality tent that's capable of being out here well in excess of a year, it makes it so much easier to have the volunteers come out here where we can sit as a group, get out of the wind, and socialize and just spend time together after we work really hard in the hot sun. Mm -hmm.